About a month ago, I got into a very bad downhill mountain biking accident. For those who don't know, downhill mountain biking is not exactly like regular biking. Generally, downhill mountain biking is performed on terrain that is steep, rough, and filled with obstacles such as jumps, drop-offs, rocks, etc. Even the bikes are typically designed differently to go downhill on that type of terrain. For example, the bikes are stronger, better able to absorb repetitive heavy impact. As you can see, we have some footage on the side, not of the accident, but of what the sport looks like just to give an idea of how intense it is. So going back to the day of the accident and what actually happened, this was my very first time doing downhill mountain biking and I get injured on the very first trail I ride. Unfortunately, I fell so hard that I got a concussion, so I have no memory of what led up to the accident, nor what happened immediately afterwards. Luckily, I had an amazing friend named Zach with me that day who was riding in front of me, so I'm about to explain what he believed happened to me that day. I will admit, I was not going very fast on my first ever downhill mountain biking trail. I was always constantly slightly hitting the brake. At one point, there were two people coming up from behind me really fast, so I quickly moved off trail slightly and back onto the trail to let those people pass. Now, the trails in downhill mountain biking are generally very thin, so I'm making quick and small zigzag-like turns while hitting the brake. So right after those two people passed me, I just lost control on a sudden drop off and the bike slid out. I went with the bike. I probably tried to catch myself with my hands and then I blacked out. I sustained a distal radius and ulna fracture in my right wrist and a scaphoid fracture in my left wrist along with a closed traumatic brain injury like I mentioned before. As you can see by the pre-surgery x-rays of my right arm, the ulna bone is what took most of the beating and there is a crack at the top of the radius bone. I ultimately had to get two surgeries on my right arm. The first one was done the night of the accident and that one was meant to reduce swelling and relieve pain. The other surgery was done later next week and that was essentially the main surgery to repair my ulna and radius bones as best possible. On the other hand, my left arm didn't require any surgery. My left wrist did not break nearly as much as my right wrist did. Um, it's harder to see, but there is a slight crack in my left hand scaphoid bone. However, similar to my right arm, my left arm had to be casted. All in all, that pretty much sums up the title of this video, how I broke both of my arms. Now I'm just going to briefly talk about what life has been like since the accident and what life will be like moving forward. So I was in the hospital for about nine days, but I didn't get my arms casted until earlier this month. Before that, they were in splints. Regardless, my right arm has been experiencing a lot of pain for quite some time. Luckily though, in the past few days, the pain has subsided significantly, so I've been feeling a lot better which is how I finally mustered enough energy to put this video together. As for how long I have to keep these casts on my arms, for my right arm, the cast has to be worn for a total of six to eight weeks, while on my left arm, I'm not exactly sure how much longer I have to wear this cast, but I believe it will be taken off very soon. As for how recovery is going, my left arm is feeling really good. Um, there wasn't much pain in it to begin with, unless I moved my wrist in a certain way, but that hasn't been possible since the day of the accident because both my arms have been in either splints or casts since the night of the accident. Um, the pain in my right arm, like I mentioned before, is getting better. I can now type somewhat decently with both of my hands. Um, however, I'm still having trouble achieving full range of motion with my right thumb and forearm just to better show this. Um, here's my left thumb here and here is my right thumb it's having a little trouble and of course here's me twisting my left forearm and here's me twisting my right forearm or at least trying to and of course I can't lift anything moderately heavy with my arms now it has been some time since our last video not even accounting for the injury 
We just haven't been very active lately. My partner in running this YouTube channel and the guy who has literally edited every single video, his name is Ryan, has recently gotten a new job in a new location and he's had to travel a lot recently. So that's made it kind of difficult to coordinate schedules and times for working on videos. Combine that with me losing passion, uh, that just doesn't make a good recipe for producing content. But oddly enough, doing absolutely nothing for the past month has kind of invigorated me to want to make more videos again. Um, I've noticed that Unreal Engine 5 early access is now available, so I definitely want to start playing with that. And a lot of my interests are still the same. Figuring out how to use various cloud platforms, not just AWS, with Unreal Engine in order to make a multiplayer game. So maybe we just needed a break. The last thing I want to say is just thank you to my doctors, nurses, parents, and Zach. I also want to thank everyone who's been active in our Discord server lately because I haven't been able to type legitimately until just recently. So I really appreciate um, those people in our Discord server who have been helping out those who have had questions. Of course, I apologize for not responding to a lot of people, specifically those who have been commenting on our YouTube videos. but. I hope to do so soon as my right arm gets better. And if there's anything I've learned from this is that the human body is very strong and that I will never take anything for granted ever again. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.